Psalm 33 verses 6 through 9 says, The Lord merely spoke and the heavens were created. He breathed the word and all the stars were born. He assigned the sea its boundaries and locked the oceans in vast reservoirs. Let the whole world fear the Lord and let everyone stand in awe of him. For when he spoke, the world began. It appeared at his command. Over and over and over in scripture, we see creation pointed to as a, an image, as a sign, as proof of the power of God. And in this verse, the psalmist is talking about God's creative power and the fact that that should cause awe in us. When we think about the fact that everything that we see is created by God, when we think about the fact that by his, by his word, the stars were born, the oceans were contained, and the, the enormity of the idea that God spoke and the world began. We often take for granted the beauty of the world around us. And so today I would encourage you, um, you know, not all of us can afford to go on ex exotic vacations to some of the places in the world that we think of as being the truly beautiful places. But around us every day, there are things of beauty. Think about how the green of the trees look against the blue of the sky. Think about how when you make a salad, all of the beautiful colors that come together in that bowl. Think about when you look up at the clouds and the different shapes that they make, or when you look at the mountains, or when you look at a sunrise or a sunset, and let that remind you wherever we are, whether we're looking out of an apartment window or we're on a beach in Tahiti, let that point us to the Creator to the God who was powerful enough to make all these things, was gracious enough to make them all so beautiful and loves us enough to want to have a relationship with us. May that encourage you today as you spend time in God's creation.